while Bethesda is releasing Skyrim for like the hundred millionth time at this point, I've decided to go back and play their best game to date, Oblivion. And while it is getting a remake in the form of the mod project known as Sky Oblivion through the Skyrim engine, which of course I can say whatever about that project, you know, it's amazing, but it's a ways off. So I've decided, you know, Skyrim's going to break everyone's mod lists again anyway, so I might as well hop into Oblivion. So I'm going to let the intro here play for just a second. And we're going to hop into my full playthrough, and the goal of this Let's Play is to do one quest per episode, I guess. So, each time it's going to be a new quest, and you're going to enjoy it. Hopefully, I'm going to, you know, kind of get the memes of Oblivion, as well as the charm and fun nostalgia of Oblivion as well. So, enjoy. These are the closing days of the third era, and the final hour of my life. I tell you, the the music, the landscape, the everything, it just it's such a perfect opening to a game. And then here in just a second, we are going to hop into our wonderful character creator. Okay, guys, I think I finally found what I think my character would look like in this world. Um, I was going more for the Joaquin Phoenix Joker look. You know how he kind of looks in that movie where he looks like the Joker. This is what I was thinking. Um, his name, I was going for something a little more medieval. So I, I went with Phil, but with an F. Um, I, th I, I think that works good. So let's go ahead and jump right into the main quest, shall we? An Imperial in the Imperial prison. I guess they don't play favorites, huh? Your own kinsmen think you're a piece of human trash. How sad. This guy is... Uh, one of my favorite things about this game is Valen Dreth, you open the game, and he's just a complete dick to whoever you are. I'm pretty sure if you're a dark elf, no matter what, he's like, I'm gonna fuck your bitch, so... <laughs> that's always fun. What kind of Michael Jackson-ass dude is that? Anyway... <laughs> Usual mix up with the watch. I never mind. Get that gate open. You poor dude. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. She said, I won't hesitate, <laughs> bitch. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You be nice. I've seen you. Damn, I've seen your eyeliner Let before, me too. See your face. You are the one from my dreams. I don't usually when like being the told stars that. Were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Uh-oh. What's going on, dude? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. Ah. <sighs> Why am I in jail? Perhaps That's what I really want to know anyway. Have placed you Maybe here he knows. So that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. See, he says this, and then it's like, I get, you know, realistically speaking, I got put in prison for murdering, like, six children or something like that. So he's just like, it doesn't matter, you're gonna save the world. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Is that, like, Bruce Almighty? We must keep moving. I like how that's there. that was there the whole time, and if my dude was just a little bit more perceptive, I would have found that. Damn. So I'm really excited to play this game. I haven't played it in so long. Um, Oblivion is such a good game. Um, I've missed it, really. Um, there's so much just to enjoy. Like, for instance, little known fact, I'm pretty sure it's this game that you can just attack the guards. You don't want to do that again. Just for fun. There's trouble ahead. There's trouble ahead. I can do trouble. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll put, we'll get a sword. Oh my god, we look so good. You know who we actually look like? We look like um, the dude from Game of Thrones. He's like, I was a fucking legend. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Definitely now. Now we look like the Joker for sure. 
Oh shit, there's more guys here the whole time. I didn't know that. Are you alright, sire? We're clear for now. Captain Leno. She She's dead. Oh shit, that was a girl, wasn't it? That's why we couldn't take her clothes off, I bet. But realistically speaking, it's kind of sexist that this game kills off the only female character right off the bat. Be careful, blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prison. Don't try to follow. No, I think I'm gonna go. Actually, why am I getting attacked? Oh shit! This is why I'm getting attacked. God damn! I take your meat, bitch. Holy fuck! Cha 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 cha. He holds it just like Mace Windu does, right before he gets yeeted off the fucking balcony. Yeah, we want a bow for sure, I think. Anything else? So lockpicking in this game is pretty fun. Um, you just gotta... You gotta treat it like a... There we go, a sapphire. I actually think I might do a bow. Okay, god damn. This entire video could just be me talking over the tutorials as they pop up, and it'd be a full-length video. Hey, so they put the key there because Bethesda doesn't want you to have to actually do anything. So, lockpicking challenge? Not- oh my Jesus Christ. You're dead, bitch. Okay. God damn, he fucking turned tail. Ooh! Is that a- was that a rat joke? Did I just make a rat joke? He turned tail? Holy fuck. Oh, I forgot how scary the fucking zombies were. Oh, he runs. That's terrifying. Like, that's actually terrifying. Oh, until they do that. I like how they call him Mort. Like, Rick and Morty. He turned himself into a zombie, Morty. Funniest shit I've ever seen. This is going to be a full-length playthrough of the game, as well as... Uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to 100% the game for YouTube. So if that works out, maybe then I'll move on to a different Elder Scrolls game or something. But right now, I just love this game so much. I can't even think about doing. Oh God, damn! Oh Jesus Christ! They jump. <laughs> the music just abruptly ends. They they hadn't mastered. Oh my God, is that a? Is that a Sheagorath reference? Uh, but yeah, they had not mastered the art of uh, mixing their music yet. I don't know, there's just so many things I want to do with this playthrough. I mean, like I said, the entire goal is to get it into bite-sized chunks, so like one, like, you know, quest at a time. I think it'll be really entertaining if I can, I mean, the goal is to play into the meme of Oblivion while also enjoying and playing back through Oblivion to get the old nostalgia wheels working, you know what I mean? So... I'm going to try to go for the uh, the best playthrough, the Stealth Archer. That missed. I was hoping he would keep walking. Don't judge me. Okay, okay. It's arrow, it's nerf or, n oh god, it's nerf for nothing, baby. No, uh, can we get like a nerf dart mod for the arrows? That'd be cool. This is a fun guy right here. Come here, little boy. Oh, God! He looked like the chick from PT there for a minute. Oh, I remember this, I remember this. You can go up to these logs and just do one of these numbers and just fucking kill him. <laughs> That's hilarious. One more. <laughs> They're so pathetic. They used to be a goblin like you. Then I took it. Oh, shit, I, I took, your, took my arrows back. Where's Big Man on campus? Where's he at? Oh, there's you. Oh, there he is. See him? He's got the staff. Putcha! Oh, and fireballs. Okay. Am I out of arrows right now? On guard. <gasps> I'm out of arrows. This is not good. This is very ungood. And also, I can probably put armor on. I never did that. God damn it. Put some pants on, man. Do I have pants to put on? Yeah, I do. Uh, do, do, do. So if they do the same, but the... This is going to be faster, so... Come here. Come here. Just fucking fall over and die now. Please. 
See, again, the music just cuts out. Oh, soul gem, are you kidding? Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out the two-handed sword. No, wrong one. Oh, maybe I don't have a two-handed sword yet. Okay, that's fine. God. Yeah, you fight him. You got it. You got it. Oh, hello. Come on down here. Today. I think it's so cool. I even thought it was so cool back. Oh God, he's coming at me. He might be working with the assassin. Nope. Oh, he's he really is coming at me. Was it a white power symbol? As you wish, sire. They cannot oh, understand God. why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. Yeah, clearly not. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't think about I've it. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marks... Oh, this is my birth sign. I guess we'll go thief. Yeah. The signs I read show the end of my path. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate... Then fall. I like to imagine if if you've ever seen the movie Hercules, there's this one character. Um, he's played by a really cool actor. Um, in in the whole movie, he's thinking, "I'm destined to die by a flaming arrow." And he's like, you know, anytime he sees a flaming arrow, he just holds up his arms and he's ready for death. He's ready to accept it. Maybe that's what's going on here. This dude just had one bad dream, and now he thinks he's destined to die. And with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Uh, where are we going? I go to my grave. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're so depressing. We just need to get you some vitamin D or something, dude. You need some sun. It's too dark down here. Yeah, long week. I agree. I absolutely love in Oblivion that you don't need a... Um, you don't need to equip the magic in your hands like you have to in Skyrim. Um, it's something that a lot of you sky babies don't know too much about, I'm sure. Oblivion! Okay. You know, so far so good. We're making a pretty strong character, I would say. Um, I don't think we've done anything wrong yet. I mean, we're not really being sneaky. Hi. God damn, what was that turn for? You're not on a runway. Hold up. I don't like this. Hold <laughs> he said, hold up. <laughs> damn it. The gate is barred from the other side. What is he doing? What about that side He's like when you need to crack your back. And like you just Let's can't go. quite get it. <laughs> Well, Glenroy, this is goodbye. I don't think you live. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Why was he talking to him when he said, Wait here, sire? Are you the secret? Did they just pull a Padme on us? Should I help them? Oh, I think I have to. I can go no further. Oh, dude, we're in the middle of a fight here. Stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. Dude, that's not him. That's just a dude. The Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. Why is he, he smiling? Knows where to find my you, last you can't be that happy about it. Find he's like, he's like, I get to tell people. The jaws of Oblivion. Oh, the jaws of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. No, not you. I'm so upset. Why did it have to happen? Uh. Joffrey? He said that? Why? Um, because there's another error. It's actually me. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He lives quietly as a monk at Wayneon Priory, near the city of Coral. Hey guys, after much looking and deciding, I think I finally decided that I want to be a, uh, want to be a bad bitch. Really? I would never have guessed. Shit, so, man. <laughs> I don't think we'll have any trouble. That's so hilarious. Okay, fine. You have no faith in me. I get it. I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. You don't even know me, dude. I could be just stealing this thing. You had three gold on you? They had shit salary for you to die. 
but hopefully now that I've made my class, I'll actually be a little bit better at um, taking these bad boys down. Like that. Doosh! I think this is the end of the cave right here already. Yeah, here we go, baby. And with this, it'll ask us if we want our shit. Nope, we're good. We'll go out here. And this is the opening of the Bolivian. That was the red arrow. Yeah, I know how to play the game. I wish I should have just turned the tutorials off. Can I get a flower? Butterfly, I mean. Nope, I guess not. Is that a fucking Daedra demon thing over there? Hey, so the last thing I wanted to do was actually... Um, so recently I saw a Moist Critical's video on the esports team um, that he's making. The, uh, the Moist esports organization. So I was thinking I would hop in with some trick shots for these guys here. Let's try it. Let's try a long shot first. Let's try a long shot first. Oh, let's go, baby. Undetected. Just let, let, let's not go undetected this time. First of all, let's do one of these. And that'll distract him. He'll go over there. He'll think, what's going on? And then I'll say, listen, buddy. Whatcha? And then that distracted him, too. So this this one is the one that gets him. I'm out of, I'm out of arrows. Um, okay, that's fine. Whatcha? Yep. See? Look at that. Alright guys, well, this was the first episode of my Oblivion playthrough. Um, it's a very fun game. Uh, let me know in the comments what quests you'd like to see me do next, or anything like that, because I'm going to play this game regardless, and it'd be a lot cooler if I had that kind of interactivity, I think. So, next episode will probably be the main quest, only because there won't be enough time to get feedback yet. So, thanks.